What's up, Lucky Gamers? It's Lucky Lux bringing you guys some of the best Reverse 1989 content. So today we're going to be going into Combat Basics. I'm going to be showing you guys like the different six elements, uh, different damage types, and then going into Combat and showing you a lot of the things that are going on right just to give you a better understanding of the game before it launches on global but anyways let's go ahead and hop into the video all right guys so this video might be a little lengthy because i'm going to be going over a lot and i will try my best to break it up into chapters because there's a lot that goes on into combat um especially if you're just been watching me just stream it live you're probably like what is going on with this um but also make sure to sub to the channel and click the bell that you guys can see when i go live because i'm there to always answer questions um and i'm always happy to answer questions but yeah i'll try my best to break everything up but first thing we're gonna go over is the six of platuses or six elements right uh so what that um is is basically elements like they have in every other rpg now this game has like some really special titles for them uh so it's gonna be beast plant star mineral spirit and intellect right uh the best way to think about it is where beast is fire uh plant is grass right star is water uh mineral is rock and then uh this is gonna be dark and light right and if you're using the stronger of platus versus the weaker you get a 30 percent damage bonus so as you're building your teams you do want to have um, a team that has a diverse use of these uh, of platuses or elements. That way you can do damage to the enemies. Um, and as you're going into your missions, it'll tell you what the enemies are usually. And it'll also tell you what uh, they're like weak to at times. Um, and in battle, they'll show you if it's strong or not. If you just can't really remember uh, this uh, graph. But you want to uh, build your teams with either like your support or you can have a healer who is gonna also counter smells because they can do damage too as i showed they'll have like um some of them can do two different roles right so you want to make sure that everybody has a way to do damage right and as you can see here um in the mission it's telling me where they uh counter the enemy right okay now into the damage type section there's going to be technically three damage types but most characters are going to be classified under two damage types. So uh, character is going to be usually um, reality or mental, which is like physical and magical. Reality being something you can touch, physical, mental being something like with thoughts, magical, right? And the third one is going to be Genesis type damage, which is going to be true damage. So I'm going to use Pridwin to show um, some characters with an example, right? So Centurion, a waifu that a lot of people want to get, she's gonna do reality damage, right? Uh, so she's gonna be a physical damage character, if that's better for you to think about. Kjorn Bloom, she's gonna be a reality character, but she's going to lower reality defense, right? So a good character to pair with a reality damage carry that you're gonna use. Um, another character that most people will be able to get regulus she's gonna do mental damage so she's gonna do magical damage um and then you will have characters um let me see if i can find her can't find her quick enough but they're gonna be characters who can lower mental um damage i can't think of them or they're gonna boost yeah here we go uh so she's gonna lower mental uh defense right so you're gonna have characters that will lower it but then you'll also have characters that will raise that type of damage as well right uh so you'll have different uh combinations um of that now genesis uh damage is not really what characters are going to do it's just going to be an effect from a lot of abilities so if you plan on building like uh for instance a poison team uh poison is going to do genesis damage where it's going to be true damage it's going to be based off the cash attack right there's not really a lot of ways to boost just genesis damage um, and so it's just kind of like one of those like hidden types, but it is there, right? Uh, okay, so that's the damage type section. Now, let's go into the combat. I'm just doing like a just kind of easy, um, normal mission. I will assist you to keep the battle under control. All right, um, so 
three characters on field. Every now and then you'll have a mission that has four characters on field. So um, you look at everything that's on field. You're gonna have your cards here. Um, I would call this kind of like your board. I'll kind of call it like a, a board, kind of like if you're playing a card game, right? You'll notice I have three slots here. The three slots are basically um, in correlation to the amount of characters that I have on the field. So if I have three characters on field, I will have three card slots. Um, if I only have two, there'll only be two. If there's only one, there's only be one. And there will be missions where you have one, two, or three characters, sometimes four. And if there's a fourth, there'll be a fourth slot here. All right. So each character is going to have um, different cards that will have abilities with them. Uh, characters will have their past abilities, but they'll have skills which are called incantations. Um, incantations are going to be your skills, and they will do various things. You can see here, so Neto, this is hers, has, the cards usually have a picture of the character to help you um, see the uh, see what the uh, whose skill is, right? Uh, so this one here, you're gonna see that it shows buff down at the bottom. It's usually have one that is attack, right? So different skills will do different things and it will kind of help you that way you uh, kind of know versus having to memorize the ability. But you can simply hold on the card and it'll tell you uh, what it does, right? And so if I wanted to play this card, I simply play it here. Um, and if you notice, it has a star here and it just put a yellow dot there. That is going to be Moxie. Moxie is kind of like gaining um, like your ult energy, right? Uh, once you have five of this, five Moxie, that is where you get a third card, which is gonna be your ult card, your ult skill. Everyone's ult does different things and certain characters have an easier way to build up Moxie, right? Um, a good way to build up Moxie, now we're gonna do something I'm a little crazy here. Now, you're able to do a thing where you can combine the cards to get a stronger effect, or it kind of adds an additional effect to the card. So we're gonna take this buff card and we're gonna slide it down next to the other buff card. Now, if you notice here, it took up one of the card slots because that is basically an action um, and it is move. So not only have the chance to do two more actions, but it created a stronger buff effect and I can place that my character will now get more moxie, will get a stronger buff, and then we're gonna um, do another skill from somebody else. Um, if you see here, there's this red circle. That is going to show that I have the stronger afflatus, stronger element to the enemy. And so I can use um, Black Dwarf skill she's going to do extra damage to the enemy because she has a stronger platus. So we're going to go ahead and place her card and we're going to go into, I guess you would say, like a, a battle phase if you play Yu-Gi-Oh, right? So let's go ahead and do that. It's going to play the cards. Love our characters. We'll get our positive effects, our buffs. All right, you, she did her extra damage. And as you saw, it was red. It's basically because I did my... Uh, stronger up latest damage. We also saw that the enemy, um, he's a fire type. He hit a grass type and his damage was red. But he did a lot more damage to her. So again, as you're building your teams, you wanna be careful of that. Now I don't have my uh, survival character on here because I wanted to show that. But yeah, those are some things you want to um, pay attention to. Now, if you notice uh, this card down here combined itself already, uh, cards can do that and you can use that to your advantage as you're, as you're playing some cards. If you want to get like a three combined, uh, right? Uh, if you play certain cards, like if I play these two cards, it's going to slide this one over. Three and off. It's going to give me the uh, the better card, right? So let's go ahead and kind of show that. So we're going to do the debuff. Now we're going to select the enemy. This is going to take off. Uh, let's do attack. Shot. Incantations. We're gonna do uh, the ability from Black Dwarf. It's gonna be a stronger ability. We're gonna select this enemy, yep. and it's gonna slide those cards. And then we're gonna go ahead and attack. Now there's no bonuses I have for attacking any enemies, but we're just wanting to show that. And you notice everyone's gaining Moxie. Sonetto is almost. <laughs> Try this. The 
All right. So now we have um, an alt card. It's going to look different. It's going to have like kind of like a uh, like a door or an arch um, look to it. Uh, and you can see it also has the uh, the bonus. You can hold it and see the type of damage that it does. Um, but what we want to do is we're going to refresh our buff. Right? And then we're going to do the alt. And we can do another ability from the black door. Alright, so now we're in our battle phase. Buff our characters, get our damage buff. Each moment, now night. The ult, which the ult scenes look really nice. That's AoE damage. It's happening. And then we'll finish off. Or not. Alright, let's just use. Just use the skill. I believe in you. Alright, we're gonna go into the second phase. You can see up here, second battle. Alright, uh, so this is a boss enemy. Um, it's gonna be pretty much the same as, and we're going into basic combat, so I'm not gonna explain uh, what's down here because you'll have to play a little bit um, before we get into it. Uh, but we have uh, Black Dwarf, she has her ult, we got some skills for her, so best way to go about this is to go ahead and clear up this shield that'll stun the character. Mm. We're gonna combine this ability actually. Okay. Extra damage, and then we're gonna do her We almost broke that shield, but... Everything has a now. and effect. All of that extra damage, because we matched the damage type, did a ton, and we got stunned. And let's go ahead and get some extra damage in there. Tark forward. Go ahead and have Eagle attack, since she has all these up attacks. Take the offensive. Uh. You can see she's taking that extra damage because she's attacking a fire type. She'll probably die here. Which will be good because we'll be able to show our sub character who's gonna come in. Nope. Stop for the laws or stop for the that. We got our sub character in here. All right, and then it just adds her cards. And uh, now, if we wouldn't have another character, we would have lost a card slot. But since we have a sub character, we get to keep our three. Um, we're gonna go ahead and buff up, and we're gonna use uh, Black Dwarf. Could have used that so probably. We should be able to in the next turn. Hope I remember how. All right, so we have the plus three, um, and that's basically from two. Uh, that comes from two uh, two star cards combining together. You get the plus three, right? Typically, you want to do that. The character has a really strong effect on it. Um, yeah, she went ahead and finished it off. It's, it's pretty strong. I've seen your All right. written in the stars. So, that's combat. I wanted to go through combat. I know I was being a little slow um, with it. I just mainly wanted to kind of to uh, explain everything kind of in detail and just show way. everything because, again, my game is in CN. Uh, so it's just really hard to see like what's going on. But guys, hopefully that showed you a little bit into the game of the first 1999. Um, if you want uh, explanation of anything else, no, let me know down in the comment section. And this is just a basic combat, so I didn't go into anything complicated. I know somebody will probably tell me in the comment section. Um, but guys, uh, I'm again gonna try to get as much info as I can out before Global. We still have um, a little under seven days so just let me know what you want to know down in the comment section if you need more information on characters teams um anything like that please let me know uh also sub to the channel if you guys want to get more info on reverse 1999 loving 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 the interaction you guys are giving me the comments the likes on the videos the turnout of the streams if you don't know that i stream i do stream around um between like eight or nine um 
Central, and I'll stream for uh, usually a couple hours at night. But click the bell that way you guys know when I am going live or I upload a video. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. You lucky gamers, have a good one. Lucky Lux out.